Mabel and the Cloud Dragon by Elwyn Tate The day was just dawning as Mabel was yawning and lifting her tired little head. She scratched and she stretched, then quickly she fetched the paper to Bill in his bed. She hopped down the stairs, jumped over three chairs and galloped off into the yard. She checked on the hens and the pigs in their pens, then watered the chives and the chard. The ponies were sleeping as Mabel went leaping along past the flowers and bees. Then she cried, Oh my dear, what's going on here? All the sheep were on top of the trees. She said, well, I never knew sheep were so clever. How on earth did you get way up there? Perhaps they all flew, but no, Mabel knew that sheep could not fly in the air. It was then that she saw the print of a paw. Aha, Mabel said, what is this? The print was a clue and she certainly knew it was too big a clue to dismiss. So she followed the trail over the dale and up to a battered old wagon. Then she saw up ahead that the footprints had led to the feet of a giant green dragon. He had horns on his nose and claws on his toes and his tail was bumpy and long. Then as Mabel drew near, she started to hear that the dragon was singing a song. It went... I am the cloud dragon, I care for the clouds, I make sure they're floaty and fluffy, they're squishy and soft, I love how they walked, so perfectly pretty and puffy. Then he stopped with a sigh, and he said, Oh my, looking down at some sheep chewing cud, these clouds will get mucky and dirty and yucky if they stay on the ground here in the mud. With a stoop and a sweep, he picked up the sheep and set them on top of a tree. With a skip and a scurry, a flap and a flurry, he flew off as quick as can be. Aha! Mabel cheered as the mystery was cleared and she knew just who was to blame. He thinks, Mabel said with a shake of her head, that the clouds and the sheep are the same. Mabel ran and she raced. She followed and chased, past trees with sheep sat on top, until, with a thud and a bump and a bang and a bump, the cloud dragon came to a stop. And now, I suppose, it's time for a doze, he said, sitting down for a rest. He took off his cap, lay down for a nap and folded his arms on his chest. And so there he sat as Mabel the cat ran faster and faster until she finally got to the very same spot of the, at the top of the farmer's highest hill. Wake up, Mabel cried, sitting down by his side. There's something we need to discuss. With a yawn and a frown, the dragon looked down, saying, Who's making all that fuss? But... Before Mabel could speak, the dragon went, Eek! There are more of these clouds than I thought. They are such a bother. Why will they not hover or float in this sky like they ought? So he waved her goodbye and he jumped up to fly, but he found that he wasn't quite able. His flap was a flop and he came to a stop because gripping him tightly was... Mabel, and she said, please don't fly away, I've something to say, before you move things around, they're not clouds, they are sheep, we do like to keep our sheep nice and safe on the ground. Then she started to draw a sketch with her paw to show him just where he'd gone wrong. Oh, what a mistake for a dragon to make, he said as he followed along. I'll flap my two wings 
and those strange fluffy things will all be brought down one by one. It didn't take long to fix what was wrong, and after a while he was done. Then he took off his hat, saying, Dear little cat, I'll give you a gift if I may. This is for you, he said, as he blew a fluffy white snow cloud her way. With apologies, said, he ran up ahead and flew off up into the sky. The snow tumbled lightly and Mabel held tightly and waved the cloud dragon goodbye. The end. <laughs>